beginning, when I start painting, it feels fun, playful. But then after a while, I often find myself asking, now what? Or is it finished? This is a key moment. It means I'm ready to move from what I call a play phase to a critique phase, a time to analyze what to do next and to see if there are any issues that, if resolved, would make our painting more attractive, more attention-getting, more visually exciting. The first thing I'm going to do is use my favorite tool, which is the idea or the concept of opposites. I look at what's here, and to add visual interest, I'm going to add what's not here. So I'm going to create some adjectives that I think describe what's happening in here now. It has a lot of organic, curvy shapes. It doesn't have hard edge. So anything hard edge is going to make a difference in here. The value range. What is the value range? I don't see any ones, white, or ten, black. I see a lot of mm, four and five in the middle. So anything high contrast using a, a white and a black or a light and a dark is going to also add contrast to this. So we have hard edge, we have high contrast. The other thing is recognizable imagery. Uh, it does, it, everything's kind of blurry. It looks kind of organic like a garden, but there's nothing definite, nothing defined. So anything defined is also going to add a contrast to this and be an eye gem or create eye movement. So. I'm going to start with high contrast and hard edge, and I'm going to use my tape, and I'm going to create something that's not in here, uh, see squares. You've got lots of curvy shapes. I'm just going to put some squares down. And I said hard edge and also high contrast, and the third was something defined. So I think what I'll do is, because the background reminds me of something botanical or floral. I'm going to add a flower in this. And it'll also give me, I have a lot of these hard, edge, hard edges that are straight. So I'm going to use a flower, and it'll allow me to create something that's a line that's a little bit different. So let's see. stem like that. Here is the flower stem. Just because I'm working with abstraction doesn't mean I can't add something realistic in there. That's another set of opposites too. You have something that looks like a garden. It's nice to uh, have something that's maybe more definitive. So I'm going to mix a nice warm color because there's a lot of cool colors here. And I'm going to have a nice little flower here. 